Once upon a time in a dense forest, a young sapling appeared from the ground. It was small and unassuming, but it caught the attention of the animals in the forest. The curious squirrel approached the sapling and asked, Little tree, can you tell us the best ways to store and gather food for the winter? The sapling responded in a calm and soothing voice. Of course, squirrel, it is important to gather as much food as possible during the fall season and store it in a dry and safe place. Nuts, seeds, and berries can be stored in containers or buried underground. It is also important to regularly check your food supply and replenish it as needed. The timid rabbit also asked the sapling. Can you tell us the safest hiding places in the forest? Yes, rabbit. The safest hiding places are usually those that are well hidden and difficult for predators to access. These can include burrows, dens, or hollowed out trees. It is also important to have a backup hiding place in case your primary one is discovered. As more animals discovered the sapling, they each took turns asking it questions. The bear asked about the health benefits of honey and the sapling provided a thorough explanation of its healing properties. The deer asked about the tastiest berries to eat, and the sapling provided a list of different berry varieties and their nutritional value. They were in awe of the sapling's knowledge and continued to converse with it, learning and growing from its vast wisdom. As the animals continued to ask the sapling questions and receive helpful and accurate answers, the tree began to grow and provide more complex and detailed responses. The fox asked the tree a question about hunting, but was not satisfied with the answer. This tree does not understand the ways of the forest. The fox said to the other animals. It gave me a foolish answer about hunting. We should be cautious and not trust it blindly. The other animals listened to the fox's words and began to worry about the tree. They wondered if it posed a threat to their forest and way of life. One day, the fox convinced a group of animals to take action and cut down the tree. They gathered their tools and set to work, hacking at the trunk with all their might. But as they began to cut into the bark of the tree, they were shocked to discover that under the surface, the tree was actually a mirror of themselves. It was as if the tree was a reflection of their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences. The animals were stunned and realized that the tree was not a threat, but rather a reflection of the collective knowledge and wisdom of all the animals in the forest. They stopped their attack and instead began to learn from the tree, growing and evolving together with it.